So there was no doubt I was coming back to Albuquerque. My whole family is here and um, I knew that I was just going to go get my training. I wanted to, well first of all I picked my residency because they spoke Spanish. We even did morning report like, a, like when we presented to each other in Spanish which was amazing because I got to learn so much. And then um, I knew I was going to come back so I started looking for a job and my family's here, the culture's here, red chili's here, mm -hmm. <laughs> lots of dancing and music is here so I knew this was home. So I was born and raised here in Albuquerque. Um, I did college out of town, came back for medical school, and then left to Massachusetts for my residency and public health training. For me, I always wanted to come back. Um, New Mexico is an a extraordinary place in many different ways. The physical beauty. I just, from the, from the moment I, I came to Albuquerque, I felt pretty comfortable. It just sort of felt refreshing, and the fact that it was um, kind of unpretentious and um, kind of uh, down to earth and um, and culturally really kind of fascinating with you know really the you know multiple cultures the people uh, um, really just this is home for me um, but I also felt like um, given the work that I wanted to do being able to provide the highest quality health care for folks who may not have many other options um, I wanted to make sure that I was somewhere where um, where I was needed. So I think the number one thing, and I've lived in many different places, I've had the fortune to live in other countries and other states, and the number one thing about Albuquerque is there's tons of music, there's great food, there's a sense of community. Um, I think one thing that was missing a lot of places that I went where I traveled is um, just a New Mexican tradition is to respect your elders and to to be kind. Where I went other places, that that's not always the priority, but here in Albuquerque it's the priority to be kind to one another and, and to have respect for the people, because that shows that you respect yourself, so. And I was a you know sociology undergrad in college and then social work uh, student, so, you know, culture and populations have always, you know, fascinated me. I'm really interested in dem demographics, you know, if I'm reading about a city, I'm almost always going and, and looking at the percentages of this population. What is the you know the Latino population? What is you know what percentage is African American? What percentage is you know is Asian? And that's just um, always really interested me. And so the diversity here, the um, fact that there's such a you know one of the one of the three states with a Hispanic you know majority, um, it just um, seemed you know about as you know unique as you can get.